<clears throat> yes, sir. How you doing? All right. I hear you loud and clear. Are you on Discord or Roll20? Okay, cool. How's it going? There you go. Yeah, I feel ya. Yup. Did you get a chance to look through my character yet, or? Okay. When's everybody supposed to be here by like 6.30? Okay, cool, cool. <clears throat> Is there anything about Roll20 that you want a, a quick crash course on or? Okay, um, which, which, do you have like the pro or which, which account do you have? The free one? I don't know if you could do fog of war with that. Does that have that? In it? Oh, it did. Okay. No, it's cool. I mean, you know. Not that big of a deal. The game is still going to be awesome. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Yeah, I'm next to that big fishy looking froggy myth or whatever that shit is. Okay, um... You know where all the maps are on the top? All right, in there, there. Um, once you pull that menu down, you're gonna see a little red banner that says players on it. I think. Yeah, you just slide it over to the the map you want us to. Yeah, we go. Yep. <laughs> okay uh, once you bring my icon onto the the map you double click on it and then go into the advanced tab and then there's a thing there where uh, you're going to give sight and then above that it'll have like a brightness and a dim thing So the first number would be, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, maybe, I'm not sure. I'm not positive.
Okay, okay. Yeah, then it might it might not be an option. I'm not positive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the hardest thing is, you know, setting up the right scale for the maps. Once you figure that out, then you could... Free maps up in here that I can use. So. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to look, uh. Just trying to pull some maps off the internet. Cool. I like the sound bit with the seagulls and the, the waves and the people talking. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to set up the just mess around and stuff. Yeah. So, so sad. See what I can find for audio here. <laughs> right, I'm gonna step out real quick, smoke a cigarette. I'll be right back. I
for anybody out there watching. We're going to be playing with a few variant rules uh, in this campaign. One of them is hero points, which uh, it looks like some kind of bardic inspiration equivalent um, that'll help. So let's see, hero points work well in epic fantasy and mythic campaigns in which the characters are meant to be more like superheroes than the average adventurer is. With this option, a character starts with five hero points at first level. Each time the character gains a level, he or she loses any unspent points and then gains a new total of five, oh, excuse me, a new total equal to five plus half the character's level. A player can spend a hero point whenever he or she makes an attack roll, an ability check, or a saving throw. That's pretty cool. The player can spend a hero point after the roll is made, but before any of the results are applied. Um, you're going to have to be fast with that, because in roll 20, everything comes out at, at once, the damage and everything. So, I guess before the DM says whether or not that hits, we're going to have to determine whether or not we want to use one of these points. And, uh, let's see. In addition, whenever a character fails a death saving throw to the player, you can spend one hero point to turn that failure into a success. This right here is probably the coolest thing about it, uh, especially for my character because I'm going to be a monk and my AC sucks right now, so I can see myself going down, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Doo -doo -doo. And then we're going to be playing with uh, spell points as well, and uh, this is a completely different system. I've never, I've never even seen anything like this. Uh, let's see, one way to modify how class feels is to change how it uses its spells with the variant system. The character has a spellcasting feature, you use the spell points instead of spell slots to fuel spells. Spell points give a caster more flexibility at the cost of greater complexity. Uh, yeah, I'm not a spellcaster, so this doesn't affect me. But, uh, it seems like, it seems like everybody's going to be able to cast on the fly. So, I don't know... If this, oh, here we go. Let's see. Uh, blah, da, 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 da. I mean, everybody can kind of cast on the fly now. So, interesting. All right. Uh, here you go. I'm not reading that. So, you can pause it and read it if you like. And then here's the second part. Let's get back. Get out of here. How do I get out of here? And the second one. Spell points by the level. This is insane for casters or players who want to take a dip. Like the you know, the people who like to multi-class. Because uh <clears throat> this right here, you're more than doubling your spell points. And uh yeah, so that's interesting. So okay. Hold on, let's go back. Alright, so at third level you have 14 points. Normally I don't even know how many spells you would get at that level as a full caster. But I know at first level you get two. So I'm assuming there's two points per first level spell. Let's see. That's probably the best way to balance that out. Okay, yeah. So two points per. That makes sense. All right. It's kind of the same thing. Gives you a little bit of a, a little bit of freedom to uh, do different things. Okay. So, yeah, that's that. Alright, cool. Alright, Hex Mix 1729. That's Sean. He's going to be playing our Paladin. Old Vast the Angler is going to be played by Jeremy. I'm playing Mateo Lupe Fernandez. Our lovely DM, Tyler. I've been playing with him for over a year. Excellent player. Really cool dude. Yo. Yo, there you go. I'm giving you some props and shit. There you go. Hell yeah. Bouncing between the different pages here. Talking to any potential viewers. <laughs> yeah. Did you wind up getting uh, Mortar Canyons for uh, Roll20 or no? Uh, no, no? I might. We'll see how this goes. I mean, I already lost one player and it has been like a half an hour. <laughs> wait, wait, that uh, chaotic dude is gone? Yeah. Why? Yeah, he just like left out of the blue. Did he, they didn't say why? No. Oh, fuck. All right, well, I mean, sometimes you get lucky and the trash takes itself out. That's how I look at it. 
I mean, both both people that messaged me said, "I hope you don't mind new players." I'm like, "No, you're more than welcome to come and learn the game." And like, me to like, chaotic actually joined, and then he just kind of like, beast out. Right. Well, I mean, it can be overwhelming at times, you know. Um, do you want me to try and get some more players or no? Uh, we'll s- I mean, he's uh, I'll still. I still have that one player on roll twenty that messaged me. Okay. But like roll twenty, like got rid of the message like <laughs> oh that's weird all right well let me know you know i mean i'll i'll i don't know what what groups did you wind up putting your ad out in i have roll 20 uh i have like the, did you do it on facebook at all because that's usually where i put my ads for players and i'll get a shit ton of you know people pitching Oh, you disconnected. I'm talking to myself. Hello. Okay, so we have three players. We have a monk, a paladin, and I believe a transmutation wizard. So, uh, hopefully we can get some more players. I mean, we could probably use a rogue. We could definitely use some kind of healer. You know, wilderness type maybe a druid. Any druids out there? You know, maybe a shepherd druid or uh, one of the land or something. The one that does the healing really good. Dreams. I think dreams druid is a really good healing one. I don't know. Okay. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I just got another message on roll twenty, so I okay back. back. That's good. Like I thought, that first player that messaged me, like I'm like, oh, I'm like, message just like disappeared. Uh, what was I going to do? Is there a specific... Oh, excuse me. Is there a specific way you want us to set up those bubbles? The red, green, and blue? No. Uh, I mean, the way you had it for your game was... Uh... Okay. Yeah, I did. Uh, it was AC, hit points, and passive perception. But I, I put it in my name on the bottom, so it's like super easy too. I saw another play through that, and I thought it was uh, really clever. Actually, that was in Guild Wars, one of those players. Let's see, I need to go to page 38 of one. Man, getting some digital books would be great, but. <sighs> Let's see here. There it is. I have way too many books. Way too many. <laughs> see, page three.
Okay, so that's the fit. Sean's gonna be a knight, so that's that's pretty cool. Oh, sorry. Let me double that value. Monks get a lot of shit. Yeah, they do. They get a lot <laughs> of shit. <laughs> they get a lot. I mean, it's interesting because they don't get too many special abilities based on the path. I think they get maybe three. You know, but they get something like every level. You know, almost. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It's definitely a class worth sticking to. You know. Yeah. Uh, and there's not... There's not too many classes you can get much benefit out of by multi-classing out of monk. Really. Like, just because monks are so dependent on dex and wizard, you could get, like, a little bit of rogue. Yeah. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about a dip into rogue because, remember, I was talking about, like, that whole hex idea? You know, mm -hmm. I, I really, I mean, I have the charisma, you know, in case I wanted to take a dip, maybe, or... You know, pick up the magic initiate feat at eighth, but uh, I was wondering, like, because I mean, I'll only be able to do the hex one time per day with that, so I don't know if it's worth the feat. But if I took a dip in rogue, that d6 damage I would get all the time. Actually, no, that would only be a one attack per turn. Um, I don't know. I have time to think about it. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just thinking out yeah, loud. Well, <laughs> I mean. Uh... It's, I'd have to like run the DPS numbers, but it's pretty much uh, D6 per uh, well, you with, know, per with turn, or you can just drop your hex and get like a bunch of D6 on like one boss. And yeah, yeah. So I don't know if it's or know. you can do both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get three D6 in one attack. I mean, the cunning action is nice, you know, but then that's that's two levels, so I don't I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, the problem with the bonus actions the rogues get, it kind of interferes with, uh, yeah, well, especially as a drunken master, you need to be taking your flurry of blows and stuff to get all those benefits. And yeah. Yep, yep. So, I don't know. It's going to be fun, though. Definitely. I mean, uh, I'm excited. I really am. You know, it's, uh, this should be a fun character kind of cool oh man I want to be jumping around and shit climbing I want to do some unconventional tactics see what happens <laughs> it's either going to be really awesome or I'm going to die hey uh, I always rule that if you jump down onto somebody, you take the fall damage too. I mean, you get that extra damage bonus, but you get the damage too. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. That's fair. That's totally fair. Unless they... Uh... So, I mean, how would you rule that? Like, mechanically? Like, what kind of checks would be involved if I want to jump down on somebody and make an attack? Uh, what did I... I think I'd try to... i normally rule it as, like, a homebrew, like grapple check like if they pass their check then they can either like shrug you off your take half damage maybe but I think that's okay. how I normally do it I'll okay. kind of roll it rule it as a you know 
athletics versus athletics or acrobatics kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> so, so, like, so could I do? Okay, in theory, I probably won't do this, and I probably would not allow this if I were running the game. But could I use my spear and like kind of jab it into the ground and launch myself up? So like using my jump movement, and then you know if I can get at least ten feet, then add that to my attack. Uh, yeah, you can certainly try. <laughs> okay, all right, I like that. I think I might try that just for the hell of it. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Yeah, because uh, I had uh, the last time I DM'd uh, in real life, they fought a uh, demi lich. And our one of our players had a was a centaur with a uh, like pole arm, so he had that ten feet reach. And so our halfling uh, monk, which asked if he could because they were having a hard time because uh, he was a demi lich. He's smart. He's not going to you know come down and get into you know melee range with people. Right. So like they were having a hard time hitting him. So the uh, monk was like, can I, like, if the centaur, like, took, made, like, a check in order to be able to hold his pole arm out, and so he could run up the edge of the pole arm and jump off and, like, uh, in order to, like, jump up high enough to hit the demi lich. That was an interesting thought. That's was, really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. That's cool. I mean, this will be fun because I know you're a lot more lenient. Than I am. I mean, I'm pretty raw, you know, just for simplicity and and continuity or consistency, rather, you know. So this would be kind of interesting to explore the uh, the more lenient side. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna try to. I mean, I try to be lenient within the rules as possible. Right, right. This would be cool. We should we should get together once a week and just talk D and D and stream it. And have different subjects. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. Something for you to think about. Here we go. D and D podcast. Yeah, something. Yeah, definitely. You know, talk about different things and you know whatever. Just like all those other channels. You know, except we'll just be throwing out two coppers in. You know, we can. Have I one. really. <laughs> there's there's short the the D and D the oh the crap guys. Bad guy. The crap guide was I, I found that <laughs> so funny. Yeah, those things have a lot of views, like a lot, like over a million and a half clicks. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. I like the little pencil drawings behind everything, you know. Hey, Jeremy's on. Pank. Yeah, it's just nickname. That's cool. Paint dazzle. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Got that paint dazzle. Oh, I thought I changed my name on here. Nope, you're still you paint. <laughs> You think we're going to do a little combat sim today? Uh, yeah, we can certainly try. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be cool. See what the dice have in store for Mateus. Mateo. Uh, so this won't this won't take too long, especially now that we don't have a oh the new. A, a noob. The noob. Like Nothing gross. against to the noobs out there. But you gotta be willing to jump in the pool, you know? You can't ask to join. And then back out like a couple hours later. <laughs> you know, I had that, you know, right before my game fell apart. You know, um, I had uh, like one person right, right before the game started. Like half an hour before was like, oh shit, I can't play. You know, something came up. And uh, there was another player who's 
who bombed out like an hour before. You know, and uh, I mean, whatever, it is what it is, but, you know, it kind of sucks when you go from like, you know, seven to five or six to four, or in this case, four to three. It's a big difference. Uh, let's see, let's see if we can help Sean here. Uh... What's going on? Oh, okay, I don't know why it won't let me talk. All right, go into settings, and then scroll down to the game settings. You're going to see a thing that says video plus audio chat options. And then underneath that, you know, there's a thing, uh, I want to broadcast to others, put voice only. I want to receive from others, put voice only. Make sure you have your audio and input and output sources selected. And then hit reconnect, and that should work. It should. I don't know if you heard any of that. It's funny how it's always just like one person who can't get Roll20 to work. Yeah. I mean, whatever. It is what it is. No, even, even in your game, it was either like if it wasn't uh, Tati, it was somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> just... or Danny or something. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. it has its bugs. Uh, things have been pretty good lately. You know, like, uh, oh, actually, no. Um, the Curse of Strahd, that's Session Zero. Um, the DM was having a lot of issues, but everybody else worked, you know, so that was kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, that's weird. It usually is just one person, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm just glad it ain't me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a problem since I've been using my Xbox controller to plug into my PC and using that headset. <laughs> and that works. Whatever it takes. I mean... I don't know why my PC headset doesn't like to work, but uh, let's see. So I wish I could send them a screenshot. Don't we usually have issues when it's on a laptop? And it's like only uh, one plug I for both? I think we just have issues. Let's all try to re reconnect. Hello? Oh, yeah. hey! <coughs> it works now. Okay, so that's, that's everybody now. We don't have any more noobs. <laughs> but we love noobs. Everybody noobs who's... Noobs are awesome. Everybody who's a noob at some point. Some people never grow out of the noob stage. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started with our nice first dice roll of the night. Uh, everybody roll me a d10, please. You either can use the uh, the bar on your side, Jeremy. You can yeah. get into the there's a dice roller, or 
you can do like the normal like uh, Discord one, like slash r d10. Okay, so let's see. Eric, you will be starting out at level 5 with 600 gold pieces. Alright. Jeremy, that is also a 600 for you. And holy crap, Sean. Uh... I just gained 20 pounds of weight. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about weight. It's, I mean, as long as it's not, like, just crazy amounts, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, and then Sean has... Let's do some math here. 725. Ooh. Nice. Jingle, jingle. And then, as I always like to do, Jeremy, I thought of this one. As soon as you said you're going as a fisherman, so you will be doing the pole of angling. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, dude. Yep. Yeah. Uh, while holding the 10 foot pole, you can speak a command word and transform it into a fishing pole with a hook, line, and reel. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, let's see. We have a. I've been hard to try to find one for you, Eric, as an anthropologist. Uh. I mean, I've been looking at the cloak of many fashions. It lets you, uh, as a bonus action, it lets you change the style and everything of your cloak. Try to fit in. Mm -hmm. That kind of fits in with the whole, like... Cultural chameleon? People. Yeah, cultural chameleon. Uh, I mean, whatever. Whatever you want to throw at me, I'll take it. There's also... A mystery key. <laughs> a what? Mystery a key. A mystery key. Okay. I'm That's sure. all it is, is mystery key. It's a mystery key. Like yep. physically, is it like a key? It's a key. And I don't know what it does? Or what it opens? Uh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> if you want that, you can take it. <coughs> I mean, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, like said. Uh, I mean, you understand that you know, putting that item in my hand is going to have me try and put it in every single lock we ever come. Across. Oh, I understand. So. And I have rules for said key, so <laughs> I, I know when it will work. All right, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Yeah, if, uh, if that sounds interesting to you. Then yeah, it does. Yes, yeah, it does. So take I will, it. I will write down the mystery key, and this and is something that I've tried to attune myself to. It does. You don't need to be tuned. Uh, let's say, as you were growing up in your halfling environment, that you know, it maybe it was a, a gift. Uh, okay. And you've been searching for this lock. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what does this key do? Okay, that sounds. You good. know, and and halflings is their you know little tricky nature. Mm -hmm. It's either going to be a joke, or it might actually start out as a joke and All end right. up as something great. And then, so you're uh, order of devotion, correct? Yes. Mm. And so much devotion. And what's the god you chose? Mitra, I think. M I T R A. Let's see here. What is Mitra? Ooh, scales bearing twin flames. That's kind of cool. I thought uh, so. 
I had a name for your order. Uh, so where'd it go? Give me one second so we can find this again. Take your time. No rush. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you send dirty messages. Oh, you're doing your. Do you understand your. Um, like how to do all that stuff? Have you, did you look at any videos, Jammer? I haven't. I'm just kind of just winging just kind of it. Winging it? Yeah, I'm just trying to minimize my dagger here. I accidentally clicked on dagger instead. <laughs> uh. this out so you can it's a little French that's for you Sean and then as your thing oh thank you We will do uh, your heavy armor. Oh, what, what's your weapon? Are you sure? Long sword. sword. Long sword. You got a long sword. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do this. We'll do the moon touch sword. In darkness, the unsheathed blade of the sword sheds moonlight, creating bright light in 15-foot radius and dim light for additional 15. That's sweet as heck. Awesome. Very useful for someone who does not have dark vision. That counts as a magical weapon, right? For bypassing... For bypassing. Yes, but yeah, it's not a plus one. Nice. It is magical in terms of bypassing, but it's not a plus one magical it's just normal longsword. Awesome. That sheds light when you're in. Was was it in darkness, right? Is that what I said? That is what you said. Okay. Just making sure. Just making sure you're paying attention because I'm not paying attention. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> okay. That takes care of that. Uh, you guys have any questions? Questions over anything? Um, uh, do we? So we got that gold that you just gave us. Do we also get our background? I mean, our background. Yeah, our background gold and our class no, gold. That will uh, that replaces it. Okay. Oh no! Wait, you still get your background gold, but that replaces any other gold. Okay. So whatever that ten, like ten or five or whatever background gives you. Yeah. Uh, wait. So we don't we. I get 10 from the background, so lose that? No. Keep okay, it. Okay, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and what can we buy? Like, other... Is there anything special we can buy? Uh, you can buy anything from the PHB. Okay. Um, and if there's anything special you want to buy before we start this thing in your adventure, uh, then we can work on that with All my right. trusty... Yes, All right, if I if I wanted to get 
something with continual light cast on it. You know, I, uh, I think there's a second level spell. Let me pull it up. Uh, or continual flame, I think it's called. Continual flame. Yeah. Continual flame. Uh, second level spell. It's a 50 gold piece component. And what it does is it... A flame equivalent in brightness to a torch brings forth from an object that you touch. It looks like a regular flame but creates no heat and doesn't use oxygen. A continual flame can be covered or hidden but not smothered or quenched. How much would something like that cost? Let me... Is there a... Is there a magic item that does that? Drift globe is similar. Drift globe similar? Okay. Drift globe does a lot more though, right? It also lets you cast the spell daylight, I think. But it's a similar magic item. It's for lighting stuff up. Let's see our major uncommon items. Do we have... Is it a rare item? Where the fuck's my drift globe? Sorry, viewers. <laughs> uh, drift globe, yeah, it is uncommon. So we can, if you just want a continual flame, we can make it a common magic item. Which is. Well, uh, let's see. I haven't opened up this page for a while. Where did it go? I had the. And I guess while you're oh. at it, how much would a moon touch spear be? Or whatever. You know, the same thing, but for a spear. Uh, that would be... So roll me, for your amulet, roll me a d6. Me? Yep. I have an amulet? Or for the continual flame or whatever you want. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Four. D6. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's okay. Five. Uh, you can find one in the current town you're in for about 60 gold pieces. Okay, so 16 GP. I'm just writing it in chat. 16. Yep. Continual flame item. Okay. Uh, now, if anybody else is thinking about buying anything, let me know. Potions of healing are standard, 50 gold. The standard, correct. Uh, because we are doing spell points, there are some very rare spell point potions, too, that are very Ooh. hard to find and very expensive. How expensive? Very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what's the base price of a longsword? What does the compendium tell me? Roll me another d6. Me? Please. Yes, you. Four. So, just add 40 gold on top of normal longsword price. Really? Yep. Does it have to be a longsword, or could I do that? No, spear? sorry, 50, 50. Oh, yeah, or spear price. Uh, 50 gold, sorry. I it's 50 so. gold on 50 top of 50 GP for... What's it called? Moon Touch? Yeah, it's Moon Touched. Also roll me a d12, Eric, please. My pleasure. 
two. No. Okay. I'm going to make a... If you're buying that weapon, I'm going to make a nice DM note on it. <laughs> then I will definitely buy it. <laughs> it's sold. <laughs> it's, it's said it's sold. Should I make a note, or do you want to make a note? I'm going to make a DM note. <laughs> okay, so... Um, do, 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 do. The moon touched. Could I, I? I mean, I could just have that put into a dart, right? And if I leave it, does that, does that start glowing automatically? Like as soon, is it like a, uh, like a, you know, like a solar panel? Unsheathed. So if I have a dart hanging from my belt, and it starts getting dark, will it start glowing automatically? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with the dart. Okay. Yeah. So, moon touched. Dart. Soon touch dart. Uh, I'm gonna put an asterisk next to it, and that'll be DM special. Yay! And that's fifty gold. Let's see what else? Okay, anybody? Else? Anybody else? Okay. I don't think so. I mean, I'll yeah. probably buy stuff out of the player's handbook, like rope and stuff. But okay. Uh... Jeremy, you have any special requests? Um, no, off the top, man, I'm just probably gonna buy like healing potions and whatnot. Okay. Um, will you allow me to like scribe scrolls eventually? Yeah. yeah you can. Okay. There's some. There's rules for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Look. Real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to cut. Jeremy, are you done or? Yeah, I was done. Okay. For the continual flame item, I want to have that put on a holy symbol of Valera. How do you pronounce that shit? Uh, I don't know. I just. I just. Ve Valaria. 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 Yeah. I would, I would say Valaria. Okay, Valaria. Yeah. So a holy symbol is what, like twenty-five gold? Is that right? Uh -huh. that I can double check for you real quick. Holy symbol is uh, it's five gold for an amulet. Five gold. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, all right. So, so just so add that to your sixty gold. All right. So sixty-five for that, and then another fifty. So that's one fifteen for the dart plus. Do you have a dart price handy? Darts are cheap. They are like they are dart 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 five copper. Oh okay. Alright, cool. And uh da -da 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 -da. let's see what else. Five copper. Now, dart retrieval is that the same thing as arrows? Uh, yeah, it's half, half. of okay. thrown okay. automatically. You can use you know skill checks to try to find more, but it's automatic half. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna pick up an extra ten darts. So I got twenty total plus the one wound touched. And I'll probably have that hanging from my spear. The continual flame holy symbol I'll have on my neck underneath my shirt with my mystery key. And okay, so 115. Alright, cool. I still got a lot of shit. Let's say 490. Alright. I'll pick up two potions of healing. <coughs> Uh, you guys need any prices looked up while I have the book open? 
No, I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good too. I'm good. Okay. That's easy. Oops, I don't know. Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah. Usually when I do this, everybody wants to buy, like, everything. This is, this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a monk. I don't need anything. Is that right, Jeremy? There's a couple yeah. of people that just want to buy everything. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Do you have any questions on your character sheet, Jeremy? I know this, this is the first time doing one, right? Obviously. Yeah. Um, I'm just filling in feats right now. I don't think there's anything we need help with right away. Um, everything looks pretty straightforward. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You just uh, uh, when you get your token, uh, you can just drag and drop it into your bio page and then and then once you get that done we can show you how to like do stuff with it okay and I assume Sean knows what he's doing because he seems like the D20 master I don't know if I'd say that <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm doing it it's going alright Oh, did my music stop? Yeah, it's been oh. stopped. Oh, I'm gonna need some uh, alcohol. Oh, perfect music. Yeah, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I have I have brewer supplies and I have potter's tools. So you know how all those oh, drunken masters have those like little matter. pottery jugs yeah. that they carry. Yeah, like a like a gourd almost, like a yes, very yes, large exactly. gourd. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna need one of those and fill it with some alcohol. -y. Oh, so you're actually gonna drink? This that's cool, I like that. Well yeah. I mean not to the point of uh you know, where I get penalties, but No, you know. no, but <laughs> but yes, the consumption of alcohol uh, is something I will do. Let's see. I want something good, something halfway influenced. Ooh, you want some half leaves? Uh, I'm going to go to another book for that then. All right. Uh, so, let's see, there's no, there's a jug and or pitcher, which is four pounds, but it's two coppers. Then we you can just reskin it easily. Okay. And what's it hold a gallon? Uh. Jug and or pitcher holds a Here we go. It's right after my And I want it to be like heavy duty, like I can use it as a weapon when out of breaking if I need to. Oh okay. so like if it's real thick or whatever. Whatever that takes. So just in case. I mean, I won't. I probably won't, but I want the option. Uh, Maybe give it like club stats or something. Wow, well, that's what is a club? Yeah, I think it's a D4, right? Two. It's a D4, but it only weighs two pounds. This jug weighs four pounds. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think a D4 improvised weapon is... Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, cool, cool. Uh, but I can't yes, find... Yes. I wonder if the compendium has it. Because <clears throat> for some reason it's listed in the PHB, but... Yeah, it holds a gallon. Okay, cool. And then a gallon of liquid is like what, eight pounds? Oh, 
I mean, I know you're not worried about encumbrance too much, but I'm just trying to. Uh, I think. I wonder if they just count the four pounds from the jug, including the weight. I don't know. You have to look up the, what a gallon of alcohol weighs. <laughs> oh, let's see. I think a gallon of liquid is like eight pounds. I can't find. Let's jump on Google. Let's see what Google is. Eight point three four pounds. Look at you. Yeah, so one U.S. liquid gallon of fresh water weighs 8.34 pounds. And there you go. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, then you wanted it. Uh, let me take up this book. <laughs> so if I hit someone with it, it's like a 12 pound fucking rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't use it too much because it might break even if it is made sturdily. Right. That sounds fair. Then you have to go buy another one. Oh, no, I'll make it. I'm proficient with potter's tools. Oh, are you? Hell yeah. That's why I want to make it like heavy duty. Heavy, heavy duty. Heavy duty. Many times I've had to flip through this page in DMG. You think I'd know where F it is. And this is probably something that my character's gonna buy a lot. So I mean I'll just put notes to make it but easier for next buy, time. Buy alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So you want it? Where is my? Do they not have a halfling made? Well, that's not cool. We can make it up. Brindle, brindleberry. There you go. Uh, Some brindleberry mead. That sounds halfling. Was trying to get a uh, nice description for your design. The meat, uh, like what what you drink, can be up to you. I don't know. I mean, whatever. Uh, let's see, we can have <laughs> we have uh, we have Fey design. What? Yeah. So I'm trying to I'm trying to design your jug here. But I don't, they don't, the DMG does not have halfling made, unfortunately. It has aberration, human, celestial, dragon, drow, dwarf, elemental, uh, air, earth, fire, water, elf, fey, fiend, giant, gnome, and undead. For like alcohol? They have undead for, alcohol? No, f for your, uh, for your jug. The, like the make of your jug. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. Ooh, look oh. at Sean up there. Good oh, mystery. yeah, sorry. It didn't have it on the compendium, so I was just making sure that all the information was in right. Yeah. Look at that. It's going to marry a whole bunch of people. <laughs> all day, every day. <clears throat> um, does Arcane Recovery work with the spell point system, or is it mm -hmm. not a thing? Okay. You just regain the points back instead of the spells back. So I gain like half of my... Here, I'll give, yeah. a, give an example real quick. 
So arcane recovery is uh, so the spell slots uh, combined level that is equal to or less than half your wizard level. So you can uh, so right now at level five, you either can make two level one slots or two level one points or level two points. Obviously, there's a better option in that. Because uh, if you do... Uh, because a second level slot is three points, and two first levels equals four points. <laughs> right. <laughs> So there, there's some things that you can cheese a little bit, but, but that's how it works. You just, whatever spell levels you're getting back, then you get back. Works the same. So the only thing that really doesn't work well with spell points are warlocks, because obviously they're different. Right. Uh, And then, you know, anything you get from racials or feats or anything are just straight spells instead of actual points. Uh, and remember, if anything with a ritual tag, you don't have to prepare, and they don't cost spell points if you take that extra bit of time to do it as a ritual. All right. I don't know if I have any ritual spells. I have to reach out. Well, you, you better... You're a wizard, Harry. Uh, I'll take all ritual spells. <laughs> just all of them. No combat <laughs> spells, just all ritual spells. Yeah. That works. Um, <laughs> uh, looking at the scroll mishaps. <laughs> uh, that's going to be fun. Okay. Four pottery shot glasses, a gallon of half mead, and a simple clay flute. Okay. He's really putting me through the paces today, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, I wonder which character I just dropped there. What is a vial worth? What the hell? <laughs> what? Oh, I was entering information in, and it looked fucking ridiculous after I submitted it. Uh, ten tough. That's the last feed I have to add on.
Whoops. <laughs> this is not a language. Oops. <laughs> Oops is not a language. <laughs> Language. Whoops. What the fuck? Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Say whoops one more time. See what happens. Ooh. Shitty roll, but ooh. <laughs> The weather like up there it was like over 95 degrees today it's actually pouring it's cold and it's pouring right now. <laughs> after it was like high 80s yesterday and it dropped down to like 50 degrees and it's pouring rain <laughs> i would love 50 degrees uh, right so let's see uh a gallon of alcohol is Two silver pieces. That's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm. I assume you bought your uh alcohol from the source, and I actually had it like imported. I mean, whatever. I mean, it. It could probably. But, it'll probably something. Be something that I make myself. Or at that. Then. You know. Well, if you're making it yourself, then that's but. Let's just assume you buy your first gallon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, flute? I have no idea. I think that just falls under a trinket, which is... Oh, no, I think... Isn't, like... Flute has to be in there, because that's... <clears throat> yeah, it's probably under... Flute is not listed under the mat the instruments. Yeah. Uh, oh no, there it is. Oh, there it is. I <laughs> right past it. <laughs> Me too. Uh, <laughs> a flute is two gold normally. All right. And shot glasses are interesting because a vial is uh, vials. Vial is one gold, but that's four ounces, and a shot glass is only one ounce. Right. Uh, and since you want it to be like made out of pottery, then we can just say like I don't know, like half a silver. Okay. So five copper. <laughs> All right. So I, don't know. So I like, got four silver. And drinkware. Can you tend to Yeah, I want the, the gourd and the, the shot glasses to kind of have the same motif, whatever it is, whether, you know, they're painted to look like flowers or I don't know. Whatever. Well, they're. They're a set. Did you buy them or? Did Either you make or. Them? I mean, it, it doesn't matter. I, I have a shit ton of gold that I need to spend. <laughs> so I mean, no. it doesn't matter to me. If they break, I'm gonna remake them. But you know, I wanna transfer some of this weight from coin to item. Uh, how do I add that onto there? How do you add what? <clears throat> um. In my racial background, I can add a D4 to my tool. My cooking utensils roll. Yep. Do um, I have to, I don't know where to add that D4. Let's see. Uh, cooking utensils. If you. Huh. 
Well, I don't know what that global skull modifier is, but I add whatever the thing is I got into there. Okay, yeah. Then you can toggle that, I believe. That's your D4, right? Yeah. 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 So just toggle it, and then... So you like, should be able to... Just try to roll it right now. See what happens. Uh... <laughs> It's toggled. I'm looking at your sheet. Let's see here. Oops. No, 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 yeah, that didn't, didn't do anything either. What's the point of having a global modifier if it won't work? You know, I have to add that to my Arcana checks too. That tireless precision, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna waste all your rolls here clicking on your sheet. Uh, <laughs> that's weird. Uh, yeah, you can always just, uh, I mean, add the D4 after until we can f figure this out. Because I know, uh, like I said, the, there's a way that you're supposed to be able to do it, and it looks right, but I don't know. For some reason, I can't get my monster to move at all. Um, token layer. Why can't I move it? <laughs> Eric, help me. All right, what's what's going on? I can't move my. Uh, I put this. The little zombie dude. Yeah, I can't move it. Um. All right, in the upper left corner. Do you have the select move or the pan view icon? Is it the arrow or the hand? It was. Oh, now it goes. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Okay. <laughs> uh, zombie. Well, okay, so that works. Uh, yeah. Oh, my neighbor's dog is going. Sorry. It's not that loud. I've heard worse. <laughs> So uh, everybody can. So Jeremy has his up. It's good. Are you sure there's nothing else uh, before we run a little combat simulation? Um, I want to buy some powdered silver. Powdered silver, huh? For a spell, but it's not incredibly important because I don't see me casting it for a while. It's sanctuary. Sanctuary. How much is it needs much... twenty five gold pieces worth of powdered silver per cast. Holy crap, so how much do you want to buy? Um uh like seventy five gold worth. Holy yeah. shit. That sanctuary is expensive. Uh yeah uh Jeremy makes sh like just keep track of if you have any uh, price components that you want to need to keep track of. Yeah, I'll look at them real quick. This is in my personality and all that shit real quick. Yeah. <clears throat> Hendrix is just laughing at me. Uh, hard, hard work. How many pages do you think one vial of ink will allow me to fill? One vial of ink? Uh, let's see here. 
but I have a leather bound diary. I don't know how many pages are in it. Let's see. Ink, 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 ink. Ink. Holy crap, ink is expensive. Holy. Don't you lose that ink. <laughs> well, you know what? How much would waterproof ink cost? Does that exist? Uh, well, I can tell you right now that one ounce of ink is ten gold pieces. Okay. Uh, I can't find... Is there a weight by any chance? Uh... Weight on ink is Zippo. All right. And then the ink pen is two copper. All right. All right. I get one uh, ink for free. I'm gonna buy four more, so it's forty gold, right? Yep. All right. Can I get different colors, uh, or is it all black? I mean, I'm sure you can. Actually, I'll, I'll keep it all black. Keep it simple. Uh, but I'm just trying to. I find it, like, awfully weird that they don't have rules for half this stuff. I don't know, how much would an ounce of ink normally last? I really have no idea. I've never had to... Who uses ink anymore? <laughs> right? Get a typewriter, carry that around. Uh, <laughs> let's see. There's fishing tackle. There's lanterns. There's a lock. There's oil. <laughs> There's manacles, in case you want to get kinky. Uh, merchant scales. Why the hell do I want rules on a merchant scale? Oh, here we go. Hold on, let's see. Uh, on Reddit, I'll copy and paste this. But people are saying <laughs> one ounce of ink should work for like 40 or 50 pages. Oh, okay. That sounds like a lot, though. Hold on, let me see. Uh, well, I mean, you don't use a lot of ink, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's true. Good. That's true. Just kind of a dip. All right. There we go. <clears throat> okay, diary. Do I have paper? I guess I'm going to need ten sheets of paper. Uh, that's like fairly inexpensive I believe like good paper something I can make maps out of something thick you know thick well, that's heavy. you want any chalk you can get a piece of chalk for a copper uh, <laughs> no I'm not chalk <laughs> how about an abacus you want an abacus no, I have a guess. <laughs> then let's see, uh, scroll tube. Map or scroll case. I'm gonna need, like, one of those two. Okay, I can get you a case for a map or scroll. It is a gold piece. Alright. That should find. You said the ink pens were like two uh, copper? Yep, two okay. copper. Uh, paper, which is better than parchment, is two silver pieces a sheet. Alright, so two gold for the paper. Alright, cool. Okay, I think I'm officially done shopping. Anybody else? Anybody need to buy any kits? Any? Are the prices the same as in the player's handbook? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna buy some like normal stuff, like some rope, maybe a ladder. Who knows? <laughs> a ladder. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna pick up a. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna pick up a brewer's kit, a, you know, uh, a cartographer's kit, and a potter's kit, whatever those cost. Uh, brewer's kit is twenty gold pieces. Okay. And a 
potter's tools is 10 gold pieces. All right. And then what about our cartography kit? A cartography kit is 15 gold pieces. All right. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess it doesn't give... I think I have individual rules for those uh, in Xanathar's. Yeah, so. yeah, they, they expand on them. Yep. All right, so cartographers, brewers, and potter's kit. If anybody Perfect. wants to <coughs> try anything, I'm um, like I said, I have, I have rules, rules on rules on rules. I have to get this all into. I'm gonna have to make my own. DM handbook of everything. Uh, I'm carrying a lot of weight. How much weight? I'm at like 103. Oh, that's I'm not. At, I'm at 120. Yeah, that's not right. like. Yeah, but you're probably beefy. Yeah, Actually, I got that heavy armor. Yeah, my strength isn't bad. I mean, I'm okay, like encumbrance wise, but I'm carrying a lot of shit. So yeah, I guess all my kits and everything are gonna be dangling from my backpack. Yeah, that works. That's uh, well, backpack can I think holds Do more than uh, backpack holds backpack holds thirty pounds of gear. Thirty? Oh, nice. Yep. Okay. All right. That'll. So you yeah. can actually fit a lot in your backpack. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, that works. Well, let's see. The brewer's supplies are nine pounds. Yep. The cartography tool is six, so that's 15. The potter's tools brings it to 18. I'm trying to think of what else would be in. The rope can hang off the side. The better roll is on top. My clothing's four pounds. That's on me. Yeah, I'm good. All right, cool. Nice. Very nice. Uh, let's see. With potter's tools, <clears throat> uh, you can do uh, determine what a vessel once held, uh, create a pot. Or find a weak point in a ceramic object. All right. Uh, then you have cartographers, which is uh, you can determine a map's age and origin, estimate direction and distance to a landmark, discern that a map is fake, or you can even, with a high enough roll, fill in a missing part of the map. Oh, cool. And brewer supplies are awesome. Uh, you can detect poison or impurities in a drink. You can identify alcohol. And with a high enough roll, you can ignore the effects of alcohol. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very interesting. Yeah. Brewer supplies are great. <laughs> it's Very like, cool. hey. <laughs> the, what do you that mean? check here Jeremy do you have any tool proficiencies uh, cooking utensils just cooking uh, ooh fish fry let's see so cooking utensils let's see uh, cooks utensils it's only a gold piece you're all set Right. Eight pounds. And then we have. Ooh, Sean has a liar. Heck Ooh. yeah! Damn, we have a... got some hemp and rope, some chain mail, P of chain mail. <laughs> Yeah, so once uh, once everybody's set with their oh. setting up their basic combat stuff and getting their uh, character portrait into their thing, we can run a quick combat. Oh, too. Uh, and then I think that would just be we just, would cover rolling for initiative and uh, 
working with your character token, and that's pretty much all we have to cover for for next session. You're right. Uh, <clears throat> unless you can think of anything, Eric, that we should cover. Um, no, just make sure everybody knows where to find stuff on their sheet. Yep. You know, uh, the advantage, disadvantage toggle. Uh, yeah, the, the the whisper toggles and all that. You know, yep. um, I think everything's ready here. Everything's checked off. Let me see. <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess you know, uh, for the spellcasters, you know, if they're not familiar with how to upcast, because mm -hmm. when they go to cast a spell, it might ask what level they're casting it at. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know, yeah. uh, let's see what else. Yeah. Uh, with your spells you have in there, Jeremy, did you drag them from the compendium or did you insert them yourself? I uh, oh shit, I could probably do that instead. Of, I don't know, I could do that. <laughs> uh, well, you can't do all of them. There's some you're gonna have to do yourself. But for like, uh, like firebolt and stuff, I could probably just drag mm -hmm. over. Yeah, let's see, firebolt. Come on, why don't you pop up, you stupid thing? Yeah, the compendium's kind of finicky sometimes. So yeah, spells. Scroll down here. No. I want... Yeah, so if you do this... Let's see if I can add that for you. Yep, there it is, right there. So then, uh, uh, so then you can just uh, click on it like that and it'll roll everything all nice and yeah so uh, I just you can search <coughs> through the compendium find what is it has a lot of the base spells but anything from you know Mordenkainen's and stuff like that you're going to have to insert yourself Alright, so I sniffed on there, but I already added that. I think I did it right. Uh, damage. <coughs> uh, you might have to change your saving throw versus DC intelligence yet. Yeah. Save effect, no damage. Look for a magic yeah. pencil. That looks good. Uh, <laughs> See if it rolls good. Yep, that rolled nice. What the hell? Uh, just maybe the only thing I might change for Ice Knife is. Oh, you have the description there. Uh, for some reason, it popped up though. Oh, I didn't fill a description. Oh, okay. oh yeah, it just filled in the description. That would help, uh, like just put the basic like AOE on the explosion. Cool. You have a week to do that stuff. Um, How the hell is that? Close out all the time. You see that? Uh, you also can just uh, drag him over into your spell book too if you need to, because you're going to know like. A lot of spells by the time this is over. <laughs> is there a way to like lock my character sheet up? Because every time I'm going to drag stuff over, it closes out. <laughs> uh, you can have it pop out in a separate window instead of it just being an overlay. It'll actually open up as another. But if you're just dragging spells, you don't have to drag it that far. You just have to like just get it by your sheet. Should uh, yeah. As soon as I click on something, the sheet closes out. And this. Uh. What, what other? Oh, I got it now. Okay. Brandon, there's two things of blindness, deafness, and compendiums. How'd you get to my spell list? How? I'm the DM. <laughs> That's how. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, this is over here. Okay. Eric's over there down by the river. Let's see, what do I have for 
lots of choices here. How do I just to, like delete something straight up? <laughs> uh, like my other magic missile I was working on. <laughs> there should be a little lock that you can click on, and then that'll bring up a bunch of trash cans that you can click on to delete stuff. Yeah, that's right oh. the plus sign there. Yep. Right, get rid of that. I have a dagger, magic missile. What else do I have? Let me just go through my spell list here. Should this put only targeting spells onto my character sheet, or should I just fill her head up? Uh, I mean... Fill out your spell book. <laughs> okay. And then we can worry about because you know what you're gonna have prepared. Uh yeah. Because you still have to prepare and and all your spells and stuff. Uh, just you know, what you cast with your prepared spells is I have a question. Yes. How do I take the token that I made and put it into roll twenty? Uh Shouldn't you just be able to drag and drop it? Maybe. I can definitely try that. <laughs> I think that's, that's what you do, right, Eric? You just drag and drop it onto your sheet? I think you gotta uh, import it. Hold on, let me see. On your main page. Oh, okay, I you got open it. it and you go edit, I think. And then you should, yeah, yeah. So if you hit edit, then you'll be able to do it. Um, now, after we set it all up with the you know, hit points, AC, passive perception, or whatever. Then what you could do, Tyler, is you go into the sheet, and then mm -hmm. in the lower left corner, it's going to say, use this token. And then uh, you can, you know, if you click the token, and then use that one, it'll update it every time the character dropped on the map for you. Like, you won't have to do it manually. So where do I do that? Because yours is all set, right? Uh, I think so. So if you go, if you click on my token on the map, and then you open up my sheet, if you yep. go to edit, there'll be like another thing in the lower left corner that says use this token or something. Use this icon, whatever it says. Huh. You should Oops. be able to do that. Say how. Click on yours here. No, I don't. I don't see it. All right. So if you go, all right. If you open up any character and then you hit the edit button, you know it's going to have the the main picture in the upper left corner. And then you should get yeah. another one in the lower left corner. Yeah, default token optional. I see that. Yeah, that one. Yeah. So if you click on the token that's on the map, and then you click that box, it should put it in there. Okay. Okay, so yours is already in there. That's why I was like, "Okay." Oh yeah, yeah, because I did sweet. it. I did that on yeah, yeah. I did that on mine and then imported it over. That's why. Uh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you have like different towns and cities and whatever already named? I have your starting town named. Are you, okay. All right. Let me get it. Okay. I, I think I did it. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Yep, there you are. Look at you, big old beefy scaly boy. <laughs> so if I... My character does like no damage. There's that one. Oh, hey, look, there I am. And if I come here, I can go that one. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, I see multiple fish people. Multiple fish people? Yeah, there's one on the left side in the middle. And then there's one on the lower right side. Oh. Over here. It's weird. Maybe you select token. 
I don't know why he put them all over there. Okay. Uh, oh, I never picked a feat. That's probably mildly important. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, do you want any of the uh, racial feats? I don't know? know what the Dragonborn racial feats are. I'd have to look at them. Well, uh, well one of yeah. them you can use instead of your breath weapon, you can cast like, uh, like Frighten fear. or Fear. And then the other one, oh, and you also get, I think, a plus one to your strength, con, or charisma, I think, something like that. And then, uh, or strength, I don't know, one of those. And then the other one is you get a natural armor of 13, your claws become d4 weapons, and, and then I think you also get a plus one to your strength, con, or charisma, something like that. Yep. Uh, so... Dragon Fear, you get uh, either a plus one, you know, strength, count, or charisma, and then, uh, or you, and then you can use breath weapon, as Eric said, to do a 30 feet, uh, forcing each creature of your choice within 30 feet of you to make a wisdom saving throw, uh, or become frightened. And then the Dragon World Hide might not necessarily be that beneficial. Official, unless you lose your heavy armor, uh, it gives you the plus one to the strength, con, or charisma. Uh, makes your uh, AC 13 plus dex. Maybe I'll just bump my charisma or my strength instead of taking a feat. Okay. And then the retractable claws. Yeah. Mm. Mm. There it is. Um, I thought there was one that gave. It must have been a, a playtest feat that gave the Dragon Lord wings. Wings are pretty sweet. Yeah, the full damage is a motherfucker. I mean, Prodigy is like a great skill monkey feat for your, your half orcs, half elves, and humans. Oh, Prodigy is fantastic. I got it. Yeah. Skill proficiency, tool proficiency, fluency in one language, and then choose one skill you have proficiency in and gain expertise. Like, mm -hmm. ah, so good. I'm, I'm just going to take uh, Tough for the hit point buff. Ooh, that's a nice one. He's going all. It's like, if you get past my AC, you're not getting past my hate. Okay, I'm pretty sure my character is done now. Oh, Wait, right. no, this should be a 19. Why is that a 16? Okay, yep. Okay. So, uh, if you and Jeremy open up your uh, journal there, you can uh, take your icon and you can drag it on anywhere on the map. Place it down.
Bam. There's Jeremy. Okay, and if you guys uh, left click on them, uh, you'll see the three circles that pop up: the red, yeah. green, and so put the red as your AC, uh, the green as your HP, and the blue as your passive perception. Enter the safe. Okay. Oh, that is the wrong circle. Green is HP, right? Correct. Passive perception is 10, I think. Uh, yep. Yes, it is. What is... There we go. Weird. Uh, how come I can see Sean's health bar? But how come I can't see your health bar, Eric? Uh, I don't know. I don't see mine either. I don't know. Like, did you put in a maximum and a minimum, or like a maximum and a current? Oh yeah, that's probably why. Good call. Cool. Okay. There you yeah. go. Should be up now. How do you have so much hit points? That's uh, absurd. <laughs> the tough beat is very useful. <laughs> Plus a D10 hit die. Woohoo. And then the we have our monk that's two hit points less than our wizard. <laughs> really? <laughs> I just took How average, you? you know. Yeah. Uh, I think that's right. All right. Five. Let's see. We got 24. Plus eight. What's the average on a D8? Five? Yes. All right, yep. so 5, 10, 15, 20, plus 8 would be 28. And my con is only a plus 1. So, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so when you subtract the hit points, that's when the bar pops up? Is that what happens? Yeah, you'll click on the icon, and then you... You know, you touch the green, and then you type, you know, if you get hit for 8, then you would put minus 8, hit enter, and it does the math for you. Okay. Uh, and then, how did you get your, uh, did you just edit your name to do that? Is that all you did? Yeah, yeah, if you go into settings where you can change your name, I just added everything in there for display name. Okay, that's helpful, but not necessary. Uh, so yeah, uh, when we roll for initiative, uh, I'll open up this turn order thing here, and you just click on your token, uh, and go into your sheet, and hit the little initiative button, and it should just be all hunky-dory. 
What the fuck? <laughs> Pie initiative. <laughs> No. Oh wow! There you oh. Go. Okay. <laughs> oh, Sean didn't get rolled in. Yeah, it says no valid token was selected. Yeah, yeah you gotta Here's... click your token first. Yeah. Oh. There we go. <laughs> AC. Okay. Uh, let's see. No, not like that. Oh. Sort of that. Oh, yeah. Sort of like that. Uh, go through like that. Okay. That's simple enough. There we go. Uh, and then. I'll just come down here. <coughs> uh, let's say you guys are up here. I don't want these right now. No. Okay. Up here, exploring this broken down, abandoned building up here. Oh, I don't want to. Uh, looking around, just, this has been reports of some attacks, trying to find out the cause, and what am I going to do here? No, I don't want to update the stupid thing. Um, ooh, those are cool ones. I like all the, like, they give you plenty of free tokens like that's that's nice yeah yeah there's a lot of cool stuff in there um no i don't want those guys let's go with Oh crap! Why do they get so big? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is huge. <laughs> We're only this level. Holy shit! Why did they get so big? It's only supposed to be a ten by ten. Uh, you can resize it. You know, but... I am no longer confident in our ability to handle the situation. Wow. Uh, oh, that's a little bit better. Okay. <laughs> It's still like a 4x4. Four four. <laughs> I know. It's a little bit better. I'm working on it. I'm getting smaller. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that was scary. This giant fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's a little bit better. Oh, it's not so bad. And then if I do... Why isn't that working? You're supposed to be able to copy and paste the tokens. There it goes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Okay, that should be simple enough. I'll just. I wonder if I don't think they had that in the compendium. You can draw monsters on the compendium, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. but uh, the they they're not going to have an icon usually. So what you'll do is it'll drop a just a default whatever icon, 
and then you select the token and then you can assign it. Okay, so if I drop this. Okay, yeah, let's see how that works. Uh, and sometimes the pop ups that they give you is so damn big. You select a token. Okay. Uh, did that work for both of them? Did you ever figure out how to do them individually? What, so the hit points are all individual? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what you're going to do is, uh, instead of linking it to hit points, see, the thing is I had it linked to hit points, so uh, what you would have to do is just do it manually for the first one, and just make sure, cause do you have the drop-down menu on yours, where you can link it to something? Uh, like it'll have I the have two spots where you can put the numbers and then there should be a drop down menu I do not No. okay alright that works in your favor actually so just put the you know fill everything in on one of them and then what same deal like when you assign that token and then copy and paste it from there and it should work and you know they won't be connected to each other HP. <clears throat> okay, I'm, I'm getting this. This is passive perception. Not mod, I want just passive. Why wouldn't it let me put in the passive perception? That's weird. As passive wisdom, maybe that's it. There we go. Uh, and then oh, see, yeah, you're using the drop down menu for that. Yeah, I got the drop down menu now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Don't use it for the hit points. Don't use it for the hit points. Yeah, like leave that one at, at none, and do that yeah. manually. Otherwise, when you adjust one, they'll all adjust. So if I delete that one, and then copy. And paste. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> okay. Except the AC is wrong on these things. That's weird. Everything else. Yep. That, that, that. So, how I just need sheet to pop up. Click on that. Right. Uh, why isn't the sheet popping up, Eric? Say again? The uh, monster sheet, so I can actually roll for the monster. It's not. If you go into the journal, you don't have it there? Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. That's everything's better now. Uh, and initiative. But I didn't add it. Of course not. Of course it rolled. I think in four. I can add it. <laughs> it's, it's still better than it. me. <laughs> I had the I had the uh, monster click though. I don't know why it didn't add it to. Is the is the icon assigned to the monster now? Yeah. And then oh, that's weird. Yeah, the icons. Is it? Are you whispering it by accident? Maybe. No, it's uh, well, it's just not. Maybe I'm whispering it. Hold on. No, it's public. Normal. I have the icon selected. Default token. Yep, that's. It's saved. 
I mean, I can roll. Like, I mean, my rolls are showing up, but just not adding. Well, now you guys know what you're fighting, but hey, it's <laughs> oh, it's an ogre. Damn. <clears throat> uh. So any, I can't add initiative manually, can I? Um, no. All right, so, all right, so you're clicking, you click the, the icon first, right? The token? Yep. And it's linked, and it's linked to the sheet. It is. I have it on the thing. Represents character ogre. Well, try, um, try dragging a new ogre onto the page. Like, from the journal. Yeah. And then click okay. that one and roll initiative. Still nothing. Is that popping up? Know. Yeah, like it's not popping up in the turn order at all. <laughs> oh well, I guess I'll... Hold on, you're rolling dexterity? Yeah, instead of initiative? I don't see the initiative thing. Oh, it's a little D20. Like above on the top right of where that stat block is. Oh, there it is. Okay. There, there we goes. go. All right. See? I knew I was missing something. That's here. I didn't even see that small little thing. Uh, and then edit that. It's four. And do this. And okay. So first up, as you guys are <coughs> in this broken down house, trying to find clues up on this ridge behind you, uh, not so stealthily, you can see two. One of them disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> One cast invisibility. Uh, you can see two. Uh, oh, wait, you deleted the one with the initiative. Oh, did I? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> and one of them has, like, multiple arms, too. <laughs> Door out there. <laughs> Welcome to session zero, people. <laughs> Why in the world is that? <laughs> Another one underneath him. Where did he come from? <laughs> uh... This is why we have session zero, people. This is why. That's right. I... Okay. So now there's only two ogres, and none of them have four arms. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just looking down upon you, grunting and giant. Does anybody speak giant? I do. Oh, yeah. They're basically saying they're going to fuck you up. And... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they do not sell too happy. Uh, Wait, do uh, I Jeremy? speak? Okay. Yes. Okay. Look, look at you on all your languages. That's right. So, Jeremy, you are up. <clears throat> all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you need to determine distance, if you look on your. Uh, toolbar on the left hand side there's one that's a little like circle with like a ruler sticking out of it yeah and if you click on that oh. and uh, then you can drag it out from your character uh, snap to center show to others yeah, so you can determine uh, play out you know you can uh, if you hold shift, right? If you hold shift, you can do the different turnings or the control. Oh no, right click. Oh, right click? Okay, right click. Yeah, then you can do it like that. Ah, uh, okay. Um, hey, let's see. If you, re if you go up and select your cursor icon and you want to deter it, like you can 
ping by uh, long holding your left click so you can, you know, show which one you're attacking. Okay. Uh, that's about it. You pretty much just, uh, each square obviously is five feet. Uh, trees. Obviously, this one is a bush, so that, that won't cause too much issue. But. Oh, I have another question. <laughs> yes. How do spell points work with Divine Smite? Just spend as many points as it would take to use the same the spell at the same level? Yep. Okay. All right. Um, Avos is going to attack this guy right here with a fireball. Let's start it off hot. And then I'm going to move in behind here. Would that have a giving cover? Behind his? Uh, yeah, they give you some cover. Sure. Okay. Actually, I might just move back here. Yeah. I'm going to shoot a firebolt at this guy and then run back behind this wall. <clears throat> All right. Firebolt. Yeah, so you just open up your page, click on Firebolt. And that is a hit. A nice red streak of hotness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hotness. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, come on. How are we playing with diagonal movement? Does it cost like five seven, or is it just no, five? Yeah, I five. I couldn't do that optional bullshit. Okay. Because uh, it is, it's just way too much bookkeeping for everybody. Sounds good. Uh, so yeah, so you shoot at your firebolt, uh, and then you just can drag your character. The. Uh, just like that. Yep. Uh, anything else? Uh, I think that is it for now. All right. Sean? Um, are these cliffs too steep to, like, run up? Uh, no, it's only, like, ten feet. You can try to get up there. Okay. I mean, climbing's half your movement without a check, so... Uh... So take fifty. Uh, I don't think I can get all the way up. Um, well, I'm gonna cast Shield of Faith on myself. All right, that nice plus two to AC. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, let's see if I have a. Uh, stop this from playing. Uh, let's see. Where's the music? Is the music on? I don't hear it. I turned it down so we oh, okay. could uh, talk, but now that battle is on, let's see. And then for my action, I will dash up to here. All right. And then that's it. And then that's it. Let's see if I can. Damn, you move a lot. Music here. I dashed, so. Shield of Faith bonus action. Mm -hmm. Dash, six, or whatever it was. Uh, I don't want that. Oh, let's, hold on. I might be able to find. What's this? Okay. I like that. Okay, we're going to play this one.
Damn, Jeremy. Uh, how do I mute myself? Jesus. Uh, do, you have your, do you have your hotkeys on? Your advanced keyboard triplets? Where do you, how do you do that? Do you know how to bring out like those hotkeys? Uh, yeah, when you go to... Hold on, I'm just going to turn the music back down again. Uh, okay. When you go to settings and you use your click the uh, use advanced keyboard shortcuts. Oh, where is that? It's literally like the first one right underneath master music volume. Use advanced keyboard shortcuts. Okay, cool. So mute is your little uh, button next to your one. Matilda. Yeah. Matilda, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know there's a way to drag out like the things you want to use a lot and have them floating on the board. I still haven't figured out how to do that. Yeah, that's uh, that's a whole bunch of stuff here. <clears throat> Oh, so that's how you do that easily. Okay, okay. Add turn for select a token. You just push U while you have your token selected. Uh, okay, I'll have to look at those later. Uh, so anyway, we have these big old two ogres looking at this scaly piece of lizard. <laughs> uh, uh, can't find a good place to put my turn order thing that's like out of the way on the bottom bottom right oh actually yeah that's an excellent place for it thank you it's like you're no used problem. to this yep. uh, <coughs> <coughs> I'm all that Muting myself. Uh, this thing is just going to see some nice prey just come straight for it and it's laughing and giant. Uh, it's going to just foolishly hop down and uh, take a DC. Six worth of fall damage. Do the giant. I'm gonna translate everything that it's saying. I'm gonna translate. So it's like, he called you a little kobold. <laughs> <laughs> Them's fighting words. Uh, and then he is going to swing away with his Greek. Oh shit. 21 hits exactly for 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Ow. Uh, so, I haven't... Uh, do we want to play with flanking, or do we not want to play with flanking? That's up to you. I mean, if there's a lot of things on the board, it's hard to keep track of from the DM yeah. side. It really is. So, I don't know. That's up, That's to, up you. to you. Guys. I don't know. It's really up to, like... It's, it's you know... Beneficial and it's detrimental. From the boat. If you guys want to play, you know what obviously happens to you. So, yeah. I mean, I'm all for it, but I don't plan on being in melee <laughs> long <laughs> enough to get hit. So, you know, um, that's up to you, Sean. You're the one who's in melee. Um, nah. Let's go with no flanking. No flanking. That's perfectly fine. That means. Uh, I mean, stunning strike and everything gets a little bit more use. You know, your abilities to get advantage they are a little bit more yep. beneficial. Oh, I need to roll a concentration check, right? Uh, for Shield of Faith? I don't think so. Isn't it a concentration spell? It is a concentration spell. Shield of Faith is a con concentration spell? Yeah. Holy... So that's based off of Constitution, right? Right. It's uh, 
it's a DC of 13? I think it's either no, 10, 10 or half the damage you took. 10 or half. Or it would be 10. Yeah. yeah, so you should have that, like... Ooh, nice. No problem. Close one. <laughs> See, no problem. Uh, <laughs> okay, and this one... Yeah, come at me, nerd. Stupid <laughs> giants. Can't even kill someone. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> What's the... He's going to see this human just kind of in there. And he's going to just take out one of his javelins and see if he can make that human a porcupine. Oh, me? But it's 120 feet with disadvantage. Uh, 14 is a miss. Yeah, so this one kind of just reels back and just slings the javelin. Miss. Can I can I like try and catch that? Uh what are the rules for your Oh, let me see. Uh, Deflect missiles, let's see. I think you have to be hit by it for you to be able to let's catch see. it. You can use your reaction to deflect or catch a missile when you are hit. Okay, yeah, never mind. So yeah, so this yeah. javelin just comes uh no. Whizzing right by your head. You're like uh this wall right here just like oh. gets embedded deeply <laughs> all right and i scream out you missed <laughs> <laughs> and it is your turn my turn all right let's see it's so far away uh let's see five can't reach it uh if you <laughs> I'm gonna come. I'm gonna run up here. If I could pick. Uh, let's see. 40. And then I will take a dart and throw it at this one. Shoot. Nice. So I I can throw two darts. Is that how that works? If I get two attacks. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Might as well. I don't think darts have the loading property. Uh, no. That would be weird. So. No, I just throw my weapons. <laughs> <clears throat> yep, so I'll do that. Two darts. Damn. All right. First one. Cool. Nice. Yeah, so I just take out two darts and just kind of, you know, backhand them both out at the same time. Yeah, the one goes wide, but the other one hits him like... Right in like his nipple. It's <laughs> 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 just kind of hanging there, <laughs> like he just got a freshly pierced. <laughs> there you go. All right, in yeah. turn. Why won't this work, uh, Jeremy? You are up. We have two that are. A little bit wounded. One has a freshly pierced nipple. <laughs> All right. Oh man. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. I can still get in range. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oops. Pull up here. And cast a lovely, I think a third level spell. I think. Uh, let's try. It. Yeah. <laughs> if I click on that in my thing. Let me see. <laughs> that. Dang him! And cast on my monk friend there. Ooh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, go take care of those things, buddy. <laughs> I'm on it, friend. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I don't think I have any bonus actions, but that's it for me. All right. No, oh, why did that do that? We're going to be... Here, okay. Sean. All right, I am going to draw my longsword, 
and smack this one that's right in front of me two times or die trying uh the first one hits and the second one uh he kind of takes his big old great club and kind of swings it to him knocks it away the first one does five points of slashing damage as you cut into his big old meaty thigh got him got him (laughs) that's it uh okay oh that was an accident (laughs) uh this ogre is going to still be engaged with you as he brings up his great club and tries to bop you on the head (laughs) oh i don't want a disadvantage but that's my fault first roll is hey look a 25 (laughs) that'll uh that'll hit (laughs) yeah it comes over big overhand swing and just Bop right on top of your noggin. <laughs> Ow. Ha ha. Uh, and then this one, now that everything's moved closer, is going to just send it. Send it. Send it. Let's see. They're not very smart. <laughs> Two points of fall damage. <laughs> some reason my subtraction won't work on these things i have to do it manually do you hit, you gotta hit enter after i am yeah I okay. Am. okay it like it works when i like retype in the number but when i do like minus it just doesn't want to process it for some reason okay uh let's see oh wizard is just safe and this one is going to try to bop the newly hasted. Ooh, that's a bop. miss. Damn. <laughs> it's like as I'm talking, you know, I turn back to, what is it? Old Bass? And I'm like, oh, thank you, friend. And it's like, you know, it just misses me and I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> it's like, whoa, what was that? <laughs> just moving like so fast. <laughs> Everything seems slow. Okay. And it is now your turn. All right. Um, all right. I will attack this one here. And you know what? I, I'm feeling brave. So I'm going to actually try and knock it prone. Ooh. So um, it's going to make an opposed athletics or acrobatics check, whatever it wants. Oh, shit. I rolled low. Uh, guess it doesn't have it. just a straight roll, I guess, because it doesn't have any. Can I? Can I use a luck point to have it re-roll? Uh, oh, let me see real quick. Let me I don't see. know. Lucky. Uh, let me pull it up. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah. Uh, da, uh, da, you have to. Whenever I make, you can choose. Okay, no. I can use it to re-roll mine, but... Okay, I'm not going to do that. Alright, so that's my haste. And then, uh, so two regular attacks. Correct. Uh, I do no damage. Watch this. <laughs> what? Oh, that's a hit. I'm going to use a, a key point that... to try and stun it. Okay. Uh, constitution saving throw, correct? I believe so. Let me. Of course, I'm playing a monk. Bear with me. Let's see. Stunning strike. Uh, whiz. Yeah. Oh, Constitution. Con save versus my. What's my DC? Like thirteen. Uh, eight plus your proficiency plus your wisdom. All right. So it'll be eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen. DC fourteen. DC fourteen. Con, con save. save. Son of a bitch. Alright. Alright, let's uh, try it again. 
It's still eight points of damage. That right. hits. So the second hit, I'm gonna try and stun it again. All right, another key point. Yeah, burn the burn all of them. Fuck it. Yeah, it's it's only a that's practice. All right, all right, it's stunned. Um. Yeah, okay. It kind of just gets all. You kind of bop it like right in the forehead. You'd like jump up and kick it, and it kind of gets dizzy. There you go. All right, and then I'm going to. Oh, I've been using the unarmed strikes instead of my spear. Fuck. All right, whatever. <laughs> and then uh, bonus action. Hold on, wait. I did that. Now I get my bonus action. Mm -hmm. I get this at advantage because it's stunned, right? Correct. Okay. All right, another five points. Ooh, look at you. Nah. Not doing any damage. Look, look at that. And then my move. What am I going to do? Well, it's stunned, uh, so I won't do anything. I'll stay right there. You're lucky you're last in the initiative. That thing can't move for a fucking whole turn. Yep. <laughs> ah, stunning strike is so good. <clears throat> uh, my Jeremy. Oh shit! So this is the one that's done right here. Ah, uh, yeah. Hold on, I'll put a uh, <clears throat> put a marker on him real quick. Yeah, can I get a haste marker so I don't forget? Yep. Thank uh, you, sir. I'll give you a nice little uh... lightning, double lightning. Oh, you want the lightning? Uh, hold on. No, I'll give you a boot. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Kicking like fucking, what's her name? Jennifer Grey? In Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'm just going to step back here. And fire a fireball at that, that stun guy. Yeah, you have advantage. Uh, so when you go to your sheet, you can see yeah. that uh, toggle up there. Just okay. toggle it all over. And then click on your firebolt. Ooh, wee. That's a whole spicy hit. Yeah, nice bolt of fire comes from between your wet fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> kind of makes a sizzling, sizzling sound and nice little smell of cooking fish kind of waves across the breeze. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, is that it? Uh, that was about ten feet. Let me, uh, let's end up right here. Okay. That's it. Sean? All right. I'm going to attack the stunned one. Ooh, turning your back on your foe. Yeah, he doesn't even hit that hard anyway. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> that is a hit. Um, and then I'm going to Divine Smite Ooh, with a first, nah, let's use a second level slot. Um, it ate my message. <laughs> Yeah, I saw it trying to load and then just kind of disappeared. Let's try that again. Go. All right, then. Huh. I guess I'm not supposed to smite this guy. Do you have it uh, macro or are you trying to do it manually? I'm just trying to do it manually. Uh, maybe go into the dice roller and roll your three... Good the, idea. The D8. Just go over to how many... I mean... Alright. Okay. Uh, so that is... Uh, 5, 7, 14. 
22 damage. 22 points of damage. This thing, as you quickly turn around and slash at the back of its knee, it's like, I mean, it's stunned, but it, you can see it's struggling to stay up. Perfect. I will hit it again. <laughs> Ooh, that advantage. Yeah, Holy crap. Uh, so as you cut through the back of his tendons in his knee, like he kind of kneels down and just plunge it right into the back of his neck. And he's dead. He falls over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he did. He did. Uh, so I one now, go. one to go. That's it. I think I'm done then. Zero. What do we put on the red X, right? Yep. The big X, X. yep. Okay. Okay. Damn, where that big X come from? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to give it to you. Uh, so this one sees his friend has fallen. He gets all angry, and he yells out in giant that he's going to bop you real good. He says he's going to bop you real good. <laughs> oh, my God, the first miss. <laughs> and he did not bop you real good. He could have. <laughs> uh, been a lot of damage. Yeah, so... The, Very glad his, he didn't bop me real good. So his uh, anger kind of just makes him swing wildly and just goes right over your head. Um, nice breeze cooling you off. And... Mateo. 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 I go running up. Oh, shoot you. Uh, same deal. I'm going to try and knock this thing prone. Okay. Uh, just haste haste just, prone? Oh, yeah. Just a quick little charge. You know, zoof. try and shoulder butt him right in the knee. And. Ooh, that's a low one. Ooh. Did I get him? I got him. Yeah, you got him. Got right. Him. He's down. You're just. Bend his knee backwards, and yeah, he kind of collapses down. Right, cool. uh, let's see. Will... Do we have a prone? What? There's one like where it's kind of crouched over, with like it looks like it's in pain on its back or something. Yeah, That's we have the one that one. I would use. Oh. Yep. All right. You can use that for prone. Cool. And then, okay, let's see. So if I grapple it again, it can't get up. I'm gonna try again. Like now to grapple him, to hold him down. Oh, so you're like getting on top of him? Yeah. Uh, so is that another, just another athletics? I don't get uh, advantage on this though, right? Let me see. Hold on, Grapple. Conditions grappled. Let's see. <clears throat> It's rain. It's in the compendium. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Grapple creature's speed becomes zero. Can't benefit from speed. Da da da. The condition. And, oh no, I'm looking at prone. Never mind. Prone. Being prone. Prone creature's only movement option is to crawl unless it stands up. The creature has disadvantage on attack rolls. An attack roll against the creature has advantage if the attacker is within five feet. All right, but, uh, so... but I mean, grappling is a special attack. I don't, I don't know if that counts for advantage. That's up to you. I mean, uh, it's because uh, it's a. It's a special attack, so it's a check, not actual. Like, okay. All right, so it's weird though. I'm gonna to have to research that. Hold on. No problem. Like I'll research it in between. We'll get the. Because I'm reading the grappling like. Because it's a. Page. It's like a special like way to attack, but it's uh, also a contested roll. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna get the advantage. But all right, so I tried to grapple him again, and I rolled a natural one, so I'm definitely using a luck point to change that. Okay. All right, so let me re-roll. Let's see. All right, much better. 24. Oh, boy. All right. All right, cool. 
So, so yeah, you uh, kind of knock him over and pounce on top of him. You like over pounce, but you're able to catch yourself before you go too far. And now you're straddling this big old smelly ogre. <laughs> All right, cool. So now I'm gonna stab him in his face <laughs> with my spear <laughs> with advantage. All right, so 18 to hit, five points of piercing. That's so yeah, underwhelming. Yeah. God damn it. And then uh, I am going to use a key point to flurry of blows. Ooh. Okay. All right, yeah, so get him. One, two. Okay. Both hit for 15, 15. points of damage. And that's it for me. I'm done. Yeah. You're just pounding this thing's face in. Like, and all these other ones, get out of me, swamp! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so he's grappled. So, I mean, he's going to have to spend his action to break it in order to even stand up. <clears throat> Until that uh, happens. Uh, remember, all range attacks, since he is prone, I have disadvantage. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you have any spells that require just saving throws? Just run up and stab him. Yeah, I was going to stab him. I do have some saving throw spells, too. Yeah. Is your turn? <clears throat> See what the little wizard's got. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna swalk it over here and uh, stab him with my dagger. <laughs> yeah, that's go. what I'm talking about. Stick him. I have advantage, right? Correct. <laughs> yep. Ooh, look at that. Five points of stick him. There you go. School you are beating. Yeah. You just come over and you're like, kind of nervous at first, and then you just like <laughs> poke him with your dagger. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much blood and spittle and sweat coming off this thing. Oh, it. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's nice. Uh, anything else? Uh, I think that's it for me. Uh, okay, but everybody's just gonna stand around this thing. Okay, yeah. Mr. Paladin. It's time to stab again. The long sword of stabbing. <laughs> Ooh, just hits. Nice. Nice. Ooh, we look at you guys now. You're putting out damage. Yes, after your two quick slashes into this thing's side, trying to find some openings. Uh, from where Mateo has <laughs> in a tussle. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, this thing is like face is bleeding. Cuts like this thing is like can't even like speak anymore. His mouth is just full of blood. Some teeth are missing. Like it's it's rough. It's rough. Ooh, now I feel kind of bad. <laughs> uh, They're not else? considered humanoids, right? They're, they're they are considered uh, giants. Okay. Uh, and then I am done. Okay. So, three of you. I'm going to do this because this thing is eyes, you know, getting caked with blood. He can't see. Doesn't know what the fuck's going on. He's being grappled. So, you're just going to swing wildly. Uh, we'll go one, two, a four. It's a one. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> the only person yeah. that you want to get hit. <laughs> it has disadvantage because it is prone. And it just swings wildly with its great glove. Uh, Fifteen. That is a hit. Do you have anything? I don't think mage armor is a reaction, so I don't think nope. I... But you don't have shield, shield or anything? reaction. No, I... Okay, well... Uh, I'm dumb. Well, all right. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That, this thing just... As you're, like, are trying to wrestle your dagger out of its thick hide, like it just kind of catches you off guard with a wild swing and kind of knocks the breath out of you. But, you know, it's not that bad. It's only, like, you know, a third of your health for one hit. 
<laughs> and that's after that. Yeah, my tail. I go, okay. I'm just screaming at this thing as I'm standing on his chest. I'm screaming at it in giant. I'm like, say uncle. Say uncle. <laughs> All right, so. All right, hold on. I got advantage. All right, so spear number one. Oh, God. Yeah. You just oh, nice. plunge your spear, like, right between its eyes, and it just stops moving. Like It stops moving? stops moving. All right, well, I just keep on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. That's, it's right. dead, right? It's dead? Okay. Yeah, you just... Can... All right. Spend I'll it. go run up the little cliff and, and splash off of it. <laughs> <laughs> with the spear coming down. <laughs> like Sparta. Alright, that was fun. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's... Right, got the mechanics down. The mechanics down. I know how to work my end now, so yeah. It's very cool. That's good. I'll delete this. So I can spend next week setting up the town map and maybe an encounter map depending on what happens uh yeah and initiative so yeah that's that's pretty much it ah. all right so i mean are we gonna start off knowing each other or like do you got all that figured out uh i have uh I don't know. Uh, you and Jeremy could potentially know each other. Uh, Sean, though, probably not. That's fair. Since, like, because he is a, a, a knight of the order. Uh, so uh, the sh I'll, I'll have a story reason why Sean's in town, but yeah. Uh, you guys could I don't know how much you want to know each other but you could just be like friendly acquaintances that you've seen passing through the fish market or uh, I mean whatever works whatever's easiest for you no I mean that's that's up to you guys like I have I have I have stuff okay just <clears throat> I mean you're not going to be like best pals that have grown up together but like you could be you know, friendly enough that you know each other on a first name basis and stuff, but. Alright, sounds good. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah. We'll s start off in a nice small fishing village. Be Jeremy's hometown. Uh, and then, since. Mateo is a nice anthropologist. He's been just kind of going around. Ended up at this town on his journey of whatever his journey is. I forget your backstory. Let me read it again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just wandering looking for. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just... so I want to do something of uh, recognition to make my parents proud. Yeah. You know, so whatever that consists of, even if it's uh, making maps of all the fishing hotspots in this area. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, whatever works, it doesn't matter. Well, uh, I mean, easy, this easy. small town would be like, it's, uh, I don't know if you guys read any of the, uh, campaign, like, backstory kind of wrote today while I was sitting on the toilet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where we're going to go looking for these items and uh, something came back. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, Jeremy being, uh, you know, not necessarily uh, uh, common race. Mm -hmm. That's why he's on this uh, small border town fishing village that uh, are probably going to be like a lot of uh, Vettelkin. So, uh, so maybe that's why you're here because this is like one of the main places you actually can find this rare race. So. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, I'd definitely yep. be interested in studying their culture. Yep. Uh, and Sean will be coming from orders on high. And, and people we'll... despite 
Keep uh, smart. Probably other stuff to do, but that's the only part I care about. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I'll, I'll get. I might write something up so you guys can get a, a little bit more of. Uh, or I'll just tell you before the game. Sounds I don't good. Know. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna right. go stuff right now. I Are you going to try and get more players or no? Uh, I'm going to try, <laughs> but I'm not necessarily like now that we've already had our session zero. It's going to be I'll, I'll fit. I'll, I'll, I'll still try, but I can run it with you three. Okay. And then fit people in, you know, wherever yeah. is necessary. Uh, I'll see if that guy on. Uh, the mess me in roll twenty, messing me back. We'll see how if he wants. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Um, but sometimes three works. Hey, look, device hey, mic. No, it's not. It's not working. <laughs> it's <Why>? not working. <laughs> this is only rolling one d eight. It's supposed to be rolling three. Uh, Let's see here. Oh, I never mind. I'm dumb. Okay. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I forgot to add, activate the second damage type. I like it. Divine smite with an explanation point. Uh, so yeah, if if uh, you guys need anything before next Thursday, like. Try to hop on and help you guys. I, I like Eric. Obviously, knows more than I do, but <laughs> I can help out a little bit. Um, do you want me to put my spell points in like the class resource section of the? Uh, I put yeah. mine under slots available. Yeah, you can put it. You can put it there. You can put it. Uh, you can put it in your spell page as. First level spell slots. You can have 133 first level spell slots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just put it somewhere where it's easy for you to keep track. Uh, All right. Then, uh, if you want to keep a side note, because sometimes I've had it happen with like sorcery points and stuff that roll 20 will just decide not to save what you put in and then you come back for the next oh, yeah. week and. <laughs> Uh, so if you want to keep a, if you have like your uh, character app there, if you want to keep a side, like note just in case. All right. Uh, yeah. I'll put all the info in for all the spells that run in the uh, roll twenty during like lunch tomorrow work or whatever. Yeah, take it like, <clears throat> like your spell as long as it's ready for Thursday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Your 14 spells that you know. Okay. Uh, nice. Then you can you can prepare uh, what's your intelligence here? Your intelligence is 18. 18? Yeah, so you can prepare uh, 9 of your 14 spells. So. Okay. So if you... If you do it right, then all your non-prepared spells, ritual spells, which you don't need to have prepared anyway, and <laughs> right. I might switch out a spell for shield if that's all right. I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> you have you guys have a week to get your character set, make any changes that you need to do. Uh, I think I'm done now that I've got these smites set up. It's gonna spin uh, crease from now on. <laughs> <laughs> crease. <laughs> grease Grease is alright. It's situational, but it's good. Yeah. See, I wish uh Grease had the same thing as uh Web. Web. Yeah. What's that? Because web you can light on fire. Like it's an actual combo. Oh, right. I remember back in, like, 2 we we used to, like, Grease Burning Hands was a big combo. Yeah, but... 
Because if I pull up web here, if it let me web. But if you can't, I mean, if you set the web on fire, doesn't it destroy it? It destroys it, yeah. But uh, let's see. <coughs> Webs flammable. Any five foot cube of web exposed by fire burns away in one round, dealing 2d4 fire damage to any creature that starts its turn in the fire. Huh. So, yeah, I mean, that's. Uh, it's restrained, which is great. Because it makes disadvantage on deck saves and has no speed, so you restrain with web and then you light it all on fire. It's it's a pretty good like low level mob clear, like two d four damage. Yeah. Especially if you know put a fireball on top of it and then uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, get off of Jeremy's page so I stop messing up his stuff. Uh, I get a nice jukebox place going. There's a fireball right there. I don't see a lot of those, I feel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, which school are you again, Jeremy? Uh, transmutation. That's right. I think this will be the first time I've seen a transmutation. Uh, wizard. You took tough too. That's a, you're a real, oh beefy wizard, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I dropped my con to ten, and then increased my dexterity, and then I took tough. Because you used to have fourteen constitution. <clears throat> this basically negated the need for having fourteen. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And they yeah, basically better AC and still have decent HP. Well, two more than me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everything looks good. Do you like my um, background? I yeah. just work hard and fish. <laughs> yeah, it works. Let's work. <laughs> Work hard, uh, play hard, fish. <laughs> <laughs> Personality traits. Uh, we sink or float together. I work hard. Nature offers no handouts. Ideals, hard work. Okay, so your personality <laughs> and your ideal are the same. <laughs> That's why I rolled it. It was crazy. I was like, all right. And, and flaws is I work hard but play harder. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a lot of hard work. <laughs> that song. Who sings that song? Is it Akon? Work hard, play hard, whatever? Oh, it was Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa, is it though? Okay. The one with like, yeah. the, the Mexicans with those big-ass pointy shoes? Yeah. Uh. But that, you're a Fisher background. That, uh, like, benefit kind of just, like, makes Outlander or whatever the one that gives food kind of seem like... I know it's, like, required to uh, have water nearby, but, like, feeding right. ten people or yeah. yourself and ten people a day. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awesome. Based on, like, just how good you are at fishing, <laughs> like... I fished plenty in my lifetime, and I tell you what, I could not even feed myself on what I catch. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be real good at fishing. But yeah, there was a spot in the back of the house, big ass lake, and every time I went out there, I'd pull up a peacock bass, a nice one, within like ten minutes. Yeah, it was great every single time. It was all catch and release, though. I didn't eat that. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. So is that it? Are we concluding uh, session zero? Uh, yeah. If you, unless you guys can think of anything, any more questions? Oh, I think uh, I'm. My, my character is super easy. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I gotta watch some videos on how to play a monk. 
<laughs> Monk is you hit things and then you sometimes <clears throat> hit them harder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just like you know, I just feel like the damage he does is like really underwhelming. You know, um, I mean, I know I get a lot of attacks, but you know, it's like slapping somebody in the face a bunch of times doesn't seem to be very effective. I'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, stunning strike obviously is. Yeah, I mean the stun is great. One. You know, I mean knocking people prone is great. Yeah, I mean it's, you know he's he's versatile. So uh, you know, not uh, he's a jack of all trades without spells. So I mean. See. The drunken technique is such a good, like, uh, you know, that free disengage and that extra 10 feet of walking speed when you use flurry blows is like. Oh, yeah, that's going to definitely come into play. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, it's, uh, like. The only thing is, I got to be careful, though, because it's like I can't leave the paladin in melee by itself, you know? No. And then I can't. You know, I got to be careful with what I knock prone because then that screws over the wizard. So, yeah. you know, I mean, I'm gonna you're going to have to figure something out. I don't need your help in melee. <laughs> All right. I mean, I won't argue with you here. Uh, <laughs> I'll stand. I got your back from 10 feet away. Uh, you're yeah, doing fine. 20... You're doing Bubble. fine. Yep. Bubble. Oh. Uh, yeah. Like, no, you can do. I mean, monks aren't like you know, obviously DPS kings, right. for, but they offer a lot of uh, crowd control. Like you can definitely, if you want to go all out, you could stunning strike a whole mob of a bunch of things. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's gonna be cool. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of opportunities for him to shine. Um, uh, I was gonna run up this cliff and then jump back off of it, <laughs> you know, just to see what that was like, you know, or try and go up there and push one of the ogres off. But you know, you had them come down on their own. So, I mean, it's gonna be fun. Uh, It'll definitely be different. And then uh, I know one of your later drunken master things, where you can just like sit there and make people hit each other, is like oh great. yeah, 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 definitely like redirecting yeah. attacks and. I think they yeah. get like a whirlwind kind of attack too, or something. Yeah, like you can, <clears throat> like right now, you know, it's kind of kind of hard. But once you get late to levels, like you definitely want to go like sit yourself in a group and just let like dancing around them with your drunken awesomeness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna mm -hmm. be fun. Definitely gonna be a lot of fun. And your damage will catch up. You'll get a. Your fist will turn into D8s and D10s. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm next day, you know. Gotta earn it. Gotta earn it. Gotta earn it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, everybody's all set. I think we are all set. All right, cool. Alright, sounds good. Alright, enjoy your week everyone. See you soon.